Hello, I am Dr. Saurabh Patwadhan from Nandadeep Eye Hospital, Sangli, India and FECO Training Center. This is commented video number 6 and in this video I am going to speak about a hard cataract, case of hard cataract and uh, how we should be thinking about this particular case. And generally what I feel is that whenever we have a complex case, we tend to get uh, burdened by the final outcome. So we start thinking about how this case is going to end, whether I will be able to do the proper steps or not. But I think it should be dealt in a different manner. And what I do in such cases is that I divide the case into different small steps. So we have to think about only the next step or the step which I am doing at present rather than thinking of the steps which are going to follow. So here I have already done capsulorexis and uh, I have rotated the nucleus and I start with the first step which is trench and divide. So I am going to debulk this uh, hard cataract. I am going to use 100% ozil. The tip is 1.25 to 1.5 mm exposed so that I can reach the deepest part of the trench. And as you can see here that I am going to make a wider groove. And I am going to stick to the central 4 or 5 mm here, the safe zone. Once I feel the depth of the trench is adequate, important thing here is to place the instruments properly at the floor of this trench so that when we divide the nucleus it divides the posterior plate as well so i have now rotated it 180 degrees and again completed this first division so psychologically i have finished the first step here now i will move on to the next step next step is doing chopping so for chopping i have to bury the entire 1.5 millimeter of the tip inside then i stop the feco keeping the vacuum on i am chopping and now while chopping also i am doing multi-level chopping as you can see my sinski is going down deeper into the crack and then dividing the posterior plate completely so now my concentration or the focus is on dividing this piece completely till the posterior plate so that is how i am going to focus i am not going to think about the next steps so first half of the nucleus is divided into four pieces now the next half always think about the burying tip once it is buried completely i am dividing till the posterior plate not skipping any step not trying to hurry but finishing of the step properly now the step two is complete and now i am going to do some quadrant removal so each piece has been divided into four small pieces now for quadrant removal so now i start with the b well sideways and i start doing feco emulsification of the first piece once i use the b well sideways you can see the pieces will start following because they are completely separated from each other if i would have not done the previous step correctly i would have had stuck nucleus pieces at the posterior plate and would have made my life difficult so as you can see once i keep on moving to next step the proper completion of the previous step is so useful so here it is very simple i am just keeping my feco tip right at the center be well sideways and start emulsifying the free pieces after emulsification of half nucleus my step is over so now i am moving on to the next step that is emulsification of the second half of the nucleus now before that i always replenish the ovd i am using here chondroitin sulfate hyaluronate combination hyalucote or viscote which is going to protect my endothelium so once i feel that i push some methyl cellulose in the back and also i will rotate the remaining heminucleus so this is like a fixed step for me i rotate all the remaining parts so that they lie in front of the feco tip this avoids trying to remove the of the sub incisional nucleus which may be sometimes risky so again i start with the next step where i start emulsifying the remaining 
hemineucleus uh, which is already divided into nicely separated pieces so again uh, my focus is on keeping the phaco tip right at the center without moving it too much and using my left hand to feed this phaco tip i am using longitudinal power of 80% along with 100% ozil which are alternating with each other so because i am using longitudinal the tip is not getting blocked if i use 100% ozil sometimes the tip gets blocked so now you can see i am also focusing on any anterior chamber fluctuations which might be happening so here my focus is on keeping the tip at the center and just watching for any fluctuations in the posterior capsule as you can see the anterior chamber is rock solid posterior capsule is not fluctuating so i could complete this also step also without much issue that's the end of nucleus emulsification so that is how psychologically you have to divide the entire nuclear emul emulsification into different small steps and focus on those tiny small steps and the details of it once you achieve that you can achieve good success in even complex cases thank you so much for watching this video more videos on our website and also submit your videos for review and publications